G'day mate. Got another parcel. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, the guy where I do wood spinning, he um, watches my channel too, so he seen a, a previous video and said this would suit what you were doing, um, so he bought it for me. So I really don't know what it is. I'm happy to say he named Brad, so he's done a good good job for me, but um, he said this will work out for what I wanted to do um, with the video, so I've got no idea what it is, but anyway, thank you, Brad. Now, I'm going to put you up higher, so I've got these soils up here, and I'm going to put a, a bracket on this blade so I can look down and see what it is. This is a different angle. I've done, done this before. I found this one here. It was too close. So I'll get you up there so you can get a better view. Hang on, guys. All righty. Oh, that the best angle I can get. I do um, jack up the saw using a um, scrunch. I have to do some cleaning tonight. I don't really do too much more. So I use a... Um, I use a small one, these scrunch underneath the dogs on the um, G282, yeah, G288, and lift it up so I get a bit of decent um, angle. I'll leave you out a bit more. Um, anyway, I explain what's going on. I've, I've hurt my shoulder, I've, I've talked about my shoulder being sore before, but I'm even more pain now. So, how do you know when you're alive? How do you really know you're alive is when you're in pain. Still, I might be in pain, but I still want to play my sauce. It's the way life is. Um, I thought I'd just show what I've got, so um, it's not going to be something I'll be playing with straight away, but it will be coming up um, in the future. But I don't, I don't know what it is. It's a saw, I know that. There's a bar here, here. But God knows what saw it is. But you said it was part of the video I did, so oh, I'll have to have a look. I might have said something tomorrow, I don't know. But um, I'll wrap her up. I wish so it's like keep going on Christmas. But you're a good mate. And mates do funny things like that. So we'll see. Hey, we'll see what she's got. You know, there'll be solos, there might be a solo. I know that's my guy, uh, what was his name? Um, Ed Williams from eBay. I know that. So whoever he is. I hope it's in one piece. I hope. It's packed pretty good. I need a tape. Beautiful. Okay. Old standing knife. Well, that part there is off. I moved the um, guys' um, addresses and stuff because they don't want their addresses being shown. So, oops. I'll put that over there. In my shoulder, my neck is so sort of, Ooh, it's yellow. Yellow, well, oh, that's nice. Can you see that? It's a yellow fellow. It's a little light than that. Yellow. Oh, I'm a colleague. Okay, and now I know what he's talking about. <laughs> okay. I know what it is. He definitely what it is. Alrighty. That Cremera. He said it was a good runner. So, if that's the case, it's nice. Got a few little cracks and dents, but that's fine. So it's my colour. Get that out. Oh. Mechanic. What is it? Six ten. Okay. Now I know what he's on about. So he says it's a good runner. That's why he bought it. Comes to a bar. There's a mechanic, but I. Bar was hanging in the back of the box. Okay. Yeah, it's an original mechanic bar. Okay. So I have to. It's actually a long one too. So I said in my previous video, um, I'm going to get one running in good condition. Well, if this one runs good, I'll have a standard one and I'll have a portable one. So hang with me for a sec. I go back up there. Still heavy. Still heavy. Nothing in there. Nothing to cardboard. All right. Hang on with me for a sec. So I'll put it there. Chain lock. Yeah, the chain's half fly, so that's alright. Put that over the other road. So, the plan was to get one going good as a stencil as a baseline. Apparently, this, what he said, that apparently this goes well, so that can be the baseline. Oh. Right, this one here. And overnight, the big WD 40. Um, the pulse came back in. 
I took the impression this saw has no air filter. So I don't think the motor on this is going to be any good. But it now gives me a saw for a step pass. And I've got the other one. This one's got an air filter. Might swap it out see. This one's got an air filter. Oh, 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 so that one there has got an air filler. Oh, I can't, I haven't bought it over yet. I haven't had a chance to muck around with these. Um, but yeah, this gives me the opportunity now to um, run it now. I think I've told before, a wall, a wall broke car, I think it was. Do we have the same? You still get air fills to lose in the States. So I'll probably end up sending away. It's 50 bucks though. It's pretty dear for Australia. But you, know, you can't um, operate a saw without an airfield. It has to have an airfield. It has to. Come on. I want it squished. Can't tell. Oh, hang on. It might be. It might be all right. It'd be interesting if it was. Yep. Well, bro. So. I know that one was a wall bro, I looked at that. Is this one a wall bro? Now, I've overlooked my colleagues over the years because I've never really got into them. I, I got a few vintage ones, I'm a uh, colleague down. 250 uh, Mac, you only have a, a manual oil pump, a heavy, low river, just a pain in the ass. Um, I only had to, kept it, when I started my video channel up, I bought stores, got them fixed, and made videos to show that they worked on eBay to sell them so, you know, People could actually go, I'm buying something that works. But um, I was never impressed. But these saws come from an era where there's electronic ignition. So, being electronic ignition, they start easier. So, I'll say a couple of easy. Yeah, Warbro, excellent. So, we will have a comparison that'll be the same. So, that, that makes sense for me now. Take words, so okay. Robert Grommet's a bit funny down there, but. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I'm happy with that. Air filler, pretty good. It's actually probably better than one. Not as ratty. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I can do a stock standard. Um, I'll see how we go. I, I like the idea of um, certain parts of these saws. But, um, like for example, I'll tell you. Um, the, it's weird. they got a yellow cover here and a black cover here. Same as this one here, yellow and black. Um, the third one, yeah, this one here, it's black on top and it's got a yellow pull style on the top. So um, I don't know what the go is, if there's any difference on each other, um, power wise, or must be an age thing, I think. They look the same, same knobs. This last one's been abused a bit, um, sparkling lead, stuff like that's hanging off it. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm cleaning the shed up because, you know, I'm going to do stuff like that. I'm meant to work tomorrow. I don't think I can. I'm having trouble even standing up. I shouldn't be lifting this, but I have to move off the bench. Ooh. I mean, your neck is sore, your back is sore, head is sore. Put it bit down there. Got a drop of the bus. Get the other one. So tonight, I'm going to start pulling apart Harold saw. Work on that. The Harold saw is a Dolma, which is my kit. Um, I got a big ball kit for that. Um, I'll probably show a bit of video on that, but um, I'm going to do um, a poor job on this thing that will um, get this thing to get up and go. I'll do a muffler mod too. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach that. Um, certain things I like a muffler, certain things I don't. Everyone says get the muffler. Um, make it work better. I have to have a look inside. I know my key has got some, or with dynamite, with some weird ideas with pipes and stuff, but I've been in that road I know how they feel. Any dogs been? Um, if anyone's got an uh, external log, I can get off them. I'll buy them off it. Buy it off you. Please let me know. Uh, it's a. Uh, there's a muffler on there. That's a mold of the free saw. Uh, DCS7901. I need an external arm dog and the bolts to hold on. So I don't like having saws of one dog, especially when they come out between dogs. So a 
apparently he bought this um, saw from his neighbour. They had no side cover, so he bought a side cover from a Dalma. That's why it is the way it is. And it's one, it's one of these saws. He's, it's a go-to saw. He loves it. Um, I'm not impressed with the on-off switch. Um, you have to push it away to stop it. And that's sort of like, to me, not ergonomic. But it's nice and balanced. It's got very, very good energy vibe. But now you pull it apart tonight and start um, working on the process of pouring. So I uh, clean the bench, clean. Yeah, give me a tick board and all that crap. Let's just show you guys. Hang on. So I'm going to start working on this thing tonight. Um, but I have to do a bit of cleaning. Um, my tick board is down here. I've pipes and crap everywhere. I have to work out some way to put. I don't want to put aluminium grinding into the wiring because it's not good for them, not good for them at all. So I'm going to have to work out some place to put them. And me the meat boiler as well, I made the meat boiler. But yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, the one thing I did see on the Mackay, I was quite impressed. They actually have a fuel tank um, gauge that you see, a clear um, gauge you see through that. But um, yeah, it seems to be pretty good, Nick. I'm happy with that. Well, that's nice. Very nice. Well, there's a bolt there. I'm missing a bolt from the other one. Yeah, so the other one's got certain parts, so the, the um, black one will probably be this part saw. But, yeah, muffler looks nice. They, thanks, mate, to Brad. Um, and I'll say, what's his name? Uh, Neville. Or uh, Williams. N, N. N. Williams. I'm not sure his first name, but it said N. Um, Neville accidentally. It's an N. Or it could be Nigel for all I know. But, yeah, that's just nice. I'm really happy with that. But, yeah. Another one to get... Um, Poured and see how it goes because I haven't really seen any pour like this in Australia. So I'm gonna put this in um, some damn hard hardwood and see how hard she can cut. Alright, guys, over and out. Thanks for watching.